what's the guys in Tasteville? Now I'm down with do something different, so, um, I'm finding done like, one or two Cinderella videos, but I want to give, like, um, tips and tricks on Cinderella. Um, I'm gonna start off with how to get your power level up. A lot of people know how to do this, but some might not. There are two ways you can do it. One, go to your command tab, go down to research, and every day upgrade these. Normally, I do a fix because, um, it boosts your weapon damage, and who doesn't want to do more damage? But if you want, let's say, more shield, or more ability damage, or uh, boosting your health, you can do that too. Um, the main way to do your power level of survivors. Now, the survivors are every topic. Um, because survivors, you had to like match um all these together. And since it takes so long to, um, you know, match them all, if it's starting out, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just put in the highest, um, rarity that you have, and then work your way to having all legendary semantics. Then after that, you can worry about like matching each um each sub uh match the second thing i want to talk about is the heroes now heroes you can do what with like your hero will now you didn't know, you know, you can have a support team, you can add, um, people here, different other heroes in the support team that can contribute to a team perk, like, let's say Brass from the past, you need two dinosaur heroes. Now, I, last night I actually got one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in right here. And now it's boosted up to one now too. Um, I won't go into, like, crazy amazing hero runouts I'm just showing you how you work the game essentially since Sender 1 is a game for mechanics that no one could possibly get in the first day or two of playing so um Oh, yeah, so, down back to heroes, you could do expeditions, where, um, where I say, you know, it's bedtime, or whatever, you're tired, you want to go to bed, and you need to farm material, so, 
the best way to do it is this web box here for having supplies. If you need survivors, you can do that too. If you need traps. Basically, if you need anything in the game, you have it here. But you always want to do the highest one that you can fill up without having the chance to fail the mission. By failing it, I mean you need to get at least a hundred power. So if you have like a few sixty fours, um maybe you have a um twelve and if you have like another C C4 that's hundred percent can do high ones since I have higher people once you level people up you can do higher ones. Also another thing to note you cannot use a hero that is in your hero loadout. So let's say in my loadout I have Paleo Nuna, you know, if I go back to my expeditions, let's say I want some wood, I can't use it because she's in my hero loadout. So, see, can't, can't use it because it's in the loadout, so, yeah. Um, and then the thing where we got is upgrades. Now, upgrades are really self explanatory Um, yeah, you can boost and upgrade the gadgets, you know, your turrets, your uh, banners, all that good stuff. Um, you can also upgrade your tools, like your pickaxe, your building, health, um, the weight, the build speed, a backpack space, soul shield, uh, vault space, so, uh, honestly, so, um, really good thing to keep track of every time you level up. Not your power level, I saw people get mixed up with, so make sure you know what your account level is in your power level, because there's two different things. My fifth, um, note I want to do is, you know, your schematics. Straightforward, your blueprints on how to build things. My next point is schematics. Now, schematics, base one, Legendaries can go up to 130, Epics can go up to 122. I don't know about the other ones, but these two you need to focus on. So, Legendary Guns, any gun in the game for that matter, you can level up and evolve. So, let's see here. If I, you look at my my neon bow, you can see it says level 50 out of 50. Now, every 10 levels you evolve it. And when you evolve it, you evolve it to another crafting material so it goes uh copper silver malachite uh 
Transform City and Sunbeam by Core. Um, I don't recommend evolving a gun until you have direct direct access to that certain crafting material or you'll be stuck with you know a gun you will hold up that you can't craft but you do make that mistake you can um craft oh, I want me a recycle gun here uh Yeah, that was not. So I uh, say, hey, you know, you meant to make you level, you're not turn up, and you don't have something where you can do go to crafting options, and you can craft a certain tier. So what I say. You, you may at one thirty, and you don't have somebody, but you have a lot of shadows on. You can craft at that tier. Um, um, my other thing for schematics is the track. Track are a big, big, big help missions um the way you set that up is uh your base will help you upward you can even set traps up and don't even have to shoot bullet there are plenty of trap guns Pet tall guys on YouTube and they're amazing. Um, another thing for schematics is your perks. Let me try and find Rusty. Alright, here we go. There's Soundwerfer. I mean, they work the same thing. Anyway, if we go down here to upgrade and you hit modify perks, you can set um, how you can upgrade your perks to um, once you know you can change it. It normally depends on the gun, whether Captions you have, you know, if you play Call of Duty before, um, how you have certain attachments that give you certain perks. This is essentially the same idea, but a little bit different. Um, also, this is called the element, and you have, you have for um, elemental husks in the game. You have water, nature, fire, and physical. Now each of these um, do a certain amount of damage to the certain husks. I'll put a picture right, um, right here or in there or anywhere um, about which element goes to which. So uh, right here is called your six perk. Now your six perk costs a uh, we perk voucher. Um, these are really where they only come one per Fortnite season, adventure season, 
which I'll get to that later in the video. If you want to know about ventures or if you already know how the game works and you want to uh, go to a certain part of how each uh, section so you can uh, skip forward and all that stuff. But back to the video, these Wii perk vouchers can um, change your six perk to whichever bits they need of the use of the gun. Whatever that may be. Alright, next up is your collection book. Now, this, the collection book, is the biggest thing in the game, in my opinion, and one of the hardest to explain. Basically, if you know what Pokemon is, your collection book is like a poke box. You collect every single thing in the game and put it on each page. Now, that's one use of the collection book. By that use, you can get rewards when you level up. Right now, my collection book is basically level 200, um, you know, if you just stick guns you don't want in the slots, or you put in duplicates of what you have, um, that's one way to use it. Another way to use it is, um, let's say, Oh man, I really want, I really want a certain gun, man, I want this gun here, I want the Room Sweeper. What you can do is research it, and you can do that with, um, the required, uh, the required resources. I will show you how to get uh legendary flux in a moment. Um uh, but yeah that's um another way you can use it. Now there are two ways you can research the gun. Um legendary flux and a we a weapon research voucher. Um, you know, you hit research, and here it says weapon research voucher. Now, then, with that we pick, um, that we pick voucher, the six we pick thing I was talk about earlier, you get the weapon research voucher inventory. A holiday hero, like this guy. If I want to recruit him, I'll have to go to a recruitment voucher. Again, you gotta find this with the weapon voucher and the reaper voucher. Um, in the venture zone now you're shot so mine i get tickets now yours can be um can be uh v bucks so you can pay 50 v bucks for llama you ever played Call of Duty back in the day with the whole supply drop thing. This is basically that. Except you can actually see what's in the llama. Um, so you can actually, you know, 
take quite a while. Now, but I'm gonna come in. If you see, like, a gun that you want, or a gun that's really good, or a mythic survivor, or anything like that, you should get the llama. Um, now, you might be thinking, oh, I gotta pay money for llamas. Not really. Say the world, um, has a bunch of missions where you can actually get rebuts, which is a big, uh, plus for the game. Now, I'll showcase that way on, um, now, moving over to Root Tab, every season in the Battle Royale world has a, um, stay in the world event to it. So, the event as a third coin is the Rad event, where you can get weapons, people, for that event. Which, back to your collection book, you can add them to your collection book, or you can, um, use them if you want. Um, back to your shop, we go to items. Now, do you ever play Battle Royale before? This is basically your item shop. Now, there are two different item shops. Your event, which will be set in two months. Um, and your weekly items, that will be set in a week. Now, remember when I said, um, I will show you how to get that legendary flux to recruit, um, or research weapons. Uh, here is where you can buy it. Obviously, I already bought out most of what I need. Um, you can also buy your evolution uh, materials if you need them. Um, you can buy uncommon perk up, rare perk up. Rare Flux, you can get Survivors, Epic Flux, a few weapons, um, you can also get Schematics here, um, I don't really recommend that, I, I don't think I've ever done that before, um, you can get people, Survivors, um, and different weapons, here, you can buy, um, army slots, so you can hold more people and more schematics or blueprints, which is really helpful. Plus, or self explanatory they tell you what to do. Now, uh, now this is a side quest I'm doing. But if you click on main quest, um, it will look something like this. And it will tell you what you need to do here, and it will tell you the rewards. But, yeah. Um, the map. Now, there are four zones inside the world. You have Stoneman. Plankington, Candy Valley, and Tom Peaks. Still will be number one, and Tom Peaks being the fourth. Now, each one has a, a, a stone shield, your base, as you will. You need to level up six times before you can move on to the next zone. Um, however, you can level up to, um, 
10 to level 10 for extra 400 V-Bucks you can get. Um, so, I mean, man, if you just do all 10 for each one, that's about, um, 4,000 V-Bucks for free. Um, nuts, um, but yeah. Um, I won't show you how to help you on upgrading your song shields. There are plenty for a few videos. I'll put some up here and I'll credit the people. Um, you know, when I said earlier about the track tunnels, track guides, all that stuff, you know, I'll put that there. Now, um, when you do missions, you really need to pay attention to that power level in the top left. You know, make sure you're on the right mission. One. Now, uh, Stolen is really small, in my opinion. Um, now if I go to Plankington, which is your next stun, um, hello? Not next. Um, you can see it's a little bit better. The storm shield still applies with, uh, you now your 10 levels. But you only need to do six to move on to the next song. Um, Keep that in mind. You can uh, do all six for each one and then come back later in the late game, go on and get that extra 400 V bucks per Storm Shield. Um, yeah, on the zone, same thing, plan, make sure you're doing the right mission, um, I didn't really explain this yet, but some missions are harder, they require, they don't require, but they suggest, you know, or players to you know, give you friends on to help you go into um, public matches. Now some of these rewards are really helpful. Um, really helpful for you. Um, I would um. I would pick some of the higher rewarding missions to help you uh, move on quicker, help you upgrade the survivors um, faster. Um, but yeah, um, now one piece. It's a little bit different. Um, now it's normal in the sense of you now missions leveling up, but you can actually do your storm shields quite after which I don't recommend. I did that mistake, and now um. Quote, quote, bored because I didn't finish my uh, quest, which I'm slowly catching up on. Um, you don't really need to do these, but you no know, OCD, I want to get out the way I don't want to see it anymore. You know, another way of. Beat the game is to not see that 
anymore, in my opinion. But anyway, beyond that, this zone is the biggest zone in the game. Um. Um. So. How can I explain this? You're gone base level, or to your base power level, maximum will be 130. Now, you can do what's called super taunting for each day in the game. Now, put this cross screen. Again, you get that by venture zone. I will show you what venture zone is here in a minute. I'll put the timestamp here if you need to. Um, sit. But, um, in Twine Peace. Again, dude. I can't be doing this. Oh, anyway. In Twine Peace. You go above 130. You can actually go maximum levels of 140. Now your power level can go to a super torch maximum you can try and get in the game 145. However, the super charges I talked about. There are 16 survivor super charges per season, per, you know, 60 days. However, if you play the game on the day super charges came out, it would take you point years to get enough superchargers to get you know that nice 145 level which I'm never gonna get that I don't have enough patience for that but um, if you do good for you playing the game for um four more years you don't get that good um, but yeah, um, another thing about Time Peaks, remember when I said get those six stone shield done, you will be able to lock a quest for a new mission, basically, you know, final boss, the browser, Bowser of said the world, which is called the Stone King, which is right here. Um, the way you unlock it, like I said, you know, the six, um, the six, the Stone Shield defenses, um, Oh yeah, the mission to unlock this, I believe you had to kill a few mini bosses, but um, mini bosses, if you go to one of these um, purple missions, if you see a skull underneath it, that means it has a mini boss in it. You put that mission, you kill it, and you complete it. Um, then you want this, this someone thing. Now, I am not good at the game yet, so I don't know what you get for beating the someone thing. When you beat the someone thing, you can get mythic guns best guns in the game in my opinion you know there are certain guns in the game 
mathematically that have uh, better damage, better uh, hit rates, all that good stuff. But anyway, you get these guns, but you can only get one per week. Now, um, after you do the first one, you can do it again the day after. So let's say, you know, you, um, be on bond, and then you beat the Storm King again on Saturday. The next Saturday, the week after, you be again, and then, you know, keep on going weeks after weeks. So, in your first 48 hours, you can get two weapons, two medic weapons out of these. Um, um, I think that's about it for the main four zone. Now, let me go to venture. Now, I've been saying this all video. I've been referring, you know, to venture over and over. You no, know. so venture. When you start venture, don't worry. Your guns are still there, and then do it your guns. Just start off a new beginning in the sound. Now you level up to get rewards. Rewards would be what I've been saying this entire video. The six uh, perk we perk the a uh, hero web, sorry, the hero voucher, the weapon voucher, all the different types of super charges. Um, you can get a uh, legendary bombers or some drops, whatever you want, you know, call them, but. Ventures is a great way to unlock things that you want in your collection book or you know you want to really perk that six perk you know whatever you want to do um alright so I must go to very slowly so you can see you know when you know when you relatively want um you see what level you need to be to what you want um things I pointed out early in the video you need to be level 13 to get the weapon voucher you need to be level 17 for Oh, I'm just saying it wrong the whole time. The core reaper, I've been calling it, um, the, uh, reaper voucher, six perk voucher, same thing, you know, whatever. The reaper voucher, you need to be level 20 for the hero voucher, um, now, level 25 is 5 is super charger. Uh, level 28 for trap super charger. Um, more survivor. All that. Uh, level 40, the weapon super charger. Uh, and, uh, level 49, Hero Supercharger, level 50, another weapon, Supercharger. One last thing, I want to show you the V-Bucks you can get 
fun this game. Um, one show you, you know, my um completed quest that I'm done. Let me scroll down. So, um, you get hundred robots, hundred, hundred. Now, I don't really need to go over each one, but you can just see, see, oh, see how much robots you can actually get. Um, that's really insane how much you can get here. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks, whether you're old player, um, you new player, I'm a time stamp everything for y'all, and yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.